because because it's not the top. completely lost the rhythm of what he was teaching me. teacher told me for my next lesson I should come in with the song that I want to learn and I told him I want to only learn songs that are public domain since it's all going on YouTube and everything and also by the way I've been getting like copyright claims on my practice videos really and it's literally like this the, I'll play I'll show you the part that they copyright claimed Really? 
it's like a form of mining or fishing or something where they go around and they just so it's it, probably it, not it, even it takes them nothing to make a claim all they have to do is just like yeah that part's mine and youtube sends me a message saying like these guys said that that's theirs and then i either acknowledge it or i challenge it and if i challenge it it takes about a month and you don't have to do anything according to my friend you don't have to do anything youtube just looks after it and but it's like for a month it's their ads on your video and they're getting the, the money but the first time it happened it said we believe this is ours but at the same time we will share the profit and you know, like I've been making. You'll share the two cents a year you make. Well, it, it's no, it's even less because, like, I make like, I, I think I made like thirty eight cents last month, but, but but that's from all my videos, and so the videos I'm making now are, um, like, if I get two hits, that that's good for me. So why don't you just be like, yeah, sure, I'll share the profits with you. That's what I do. Good, yeah. <laughs> but we'll be rolling in the pennies. <laughs> no, you won't even be rolling in the pennies. You can't even roll on a single penny with <laughs> the money you got. Jesus. Okay, so what I got away from my most recent lesson is basically I have no sense of rhythm, <laughs> or, at, or at least like the established rhythm. Like what I was doing before was this. Like really I, I do tap my foot and that's what my teacher tells me to do, but like, watch me tap my foot. <laughs> Your foot doesn't have rhythm either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then use that metronome thing you downloaded. Yeah, I can, and I, I'm pretty sure it won't create a, it, it won't copyright me. Um, it's a metronome. If they seriously try to con... To, to yeah, so. copy. Maybe put change. it on like the most normal one. It's supposed to be long, long and short, long and short, long and short. I don't know how to. 
And there is. <laughs> I love you. But um, yeah. Um, even though he does not even have rhythm. But and he's this got is, music. This is the first time he, this is the first thing he taught me. So there's both honey and epoxy glue all over this guitar. Yeah, and it also sounds like trap and is nailed shut and is duct taped. Does it smell? It probably smells like honey. Smell over here. I don't want to, no! I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't want to, no, you, no, you can't be like, <laughs> smell this, I don't know what it is. It's disgusting and awful. <laughs> dead squirrel yeah. near my work um, that, that appears to have been electrocuted on the power line. Thing is, there was a dead squirrel that got electrocuted by the power line in that exact same spot before I left. It's quite possible that they took that squirrel away and this is another squirrel that hit the same bad spot, or it's possible that Markham does not clean up Dead squirrels. Dead animals for well, three. I think you, there's it's a number you can call. It's, I guess. It's so. it's up to it's like the Kitty Genovese syndrome. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Genovese. I think she said Genovese. Uh, I don't know. It's correctly pronounced if I, Genovese. If I just said something racist, I'm sorry. I was trying to make a point. <laughs> no, you no no no. You're right. Like it's uh, like somebody should call. Yeah. Because it has holes in it now. And it's gross. And, 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 and <laughs> or just put a cat next to it. <laughs> I don't. I, I. I'm pretty sure a cat would not even eat it anymore. Yeah. This does not sound as good as the other guitar. Like obviously, it's obvious that it doesn't sound. No, good. but it would be yeah, it would be a good guitar that you don't care if it gets wet because it already has nails in it. Also, I would rather like if if this was actually my first guitar that like I had to like put nails on it and duct tape and like I only paid thirty dollars. Like I, that would that be would way be, more. That's like my. Yeah, but that's like that's. I think that's way better for starting out than like, I'm not that my guitar is expensive, but. No, but you also think you're a lot worse than you are when you start out with a <laughs> shitty guitar. <laughs> or should I switch to the other guitar? If you would like, but you sound okay on that one. I just thought you might want to hear what it sounds like. It sounds interesting. Yeah. I, I, I still don't understand why you have honey on it. Um, well, I can show you the video, but it's kind of a stupid video. So not the same reason. <laughs> I'm doing absolutely nothing. I must admit the American National Anthem does sound like it is a better musical piece. technically part British. Yeah, although, I mean, I feel like it's sort of now just something where, like, yes, yes, you can still own us as long as you will leave us alone for all the seconds. <laughs> well, it's the same thing with the British and the Queen. Like, the Queen's not 
I don't, maybe she is in charge, but they say she's not in charge. She's more, no, she's more of a pop culture figure than anything. Yeah, a pop culture figure worth billions of dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when she dies, and she's gonna die pretty soon. No, she's probably not, actually, because her mom lived to like 20 years older than her. To like 110? Or like 108? 100. I, I think she's like, she, she, the, I think the she's queen 90. is... The queen is at least 87. I think she's 90. There might be 100 in there. Remember Pope John Paul before he died? <laughs> oh, that was bad. <laughs> like, that, 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 you gotta give it to Ratzinger. Like, Ratzinger, he, he had some years left in him before he retired, but like, Better to go out, go out as Pope, like you know. She's eighty nine. He's not, he's not killing himself by not being Pope. He's just being like, okay, I'm not Pope anymore. Yeah, no, I, I agree. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was awesome. That, that he did that. Even that, I think that was the only awesome thing he has ever done. Yeah. New Pope, however, is like the Pope. He's like the Pope of Asia. He's the Pope of all Popes. She's eighty nine. He's the second one after William Shakespeare. When you <laughs> well, he's the closest in person. Person. Eighty-four. No, he's older than that. He was born in nineteen thirty-one. He is older than. He's that. not. He's eighty-four. <laughs> well, anyway, okay, fine. Then he's eighty-four, and he's. Oh, he was born in NDG. That's cool. He's he's still a major part of show business. And seems to be like fairly. S also, he he really like. I'm pretty sure he's wearing a, a rug, but like, I, all I, the same, his face does not look like a 64. Or an, he literally looks like a 64 year old. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. But but like he he's like a lot of the stuff he's doing is documentaries, but even so, like he's actively participating. On a continuous basis. I know. In the entertainment industry. So is Judy Dench, and she's like four hundred too. Look her up. I don't. I don't. Know. They're all four hundred. Four hundred <laughs> is how old old people are. She's eighty. Yay! We can continue being productive if we happen to live towards age eighty, despite our heavy smoking. Yes. <laughs> So, I'm getting you into magic cards. Yes. I'm posting videos on the internet where you put up with me and my obnoxious guitar playing. It's not obnoxious. I'm making you very attractive to little birds out there. <laughs> little birds everywhere. <laughs>
That's the one Louis C.K. drug that really stuck with me that was like, oh no, this is terrible. He, 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 he talked about like, if you're an overweight nerd, when you turn 40, as long as you still have a job, all the girls that the jerk, the jerks, I'm like, oh no, but I have a girl and I'm not overweight, so what if... No, you're underweight. That's the same thing as being overweight. Yeah. For boys, I understand. For girls, being underweight turns you into a model. But for boys, it's just sort of like, oh, another boy who isn't a Kendall. Yeah. I like that you are not Kendall. I love you, small not Kendall boy. I love you, small also not Kendall Jenner boy. is incredibly useful. This little thing. Yeah, seriously, that that was like less money than it's worth, eh? No, I think you can get get it cheaper. But that one's really good. But in term yeah, like in a fair market price where you paid for what like how much you used it or whatever. Yeah. It's worth what it, we paid for it. I think it's worth more. Yeah. But I was actually just about to talk about how like, you know, I got that recorder for four dollars. Yeah. Or like, I got this guitar for thirty. Um, and like, as a 
ex-alcoholic who is using music to, to cope with the fact that he's not drinking anymore. Um, Still wouldn't call you an alcoholic person who used alcohol and alcohol un, un, well, healthily. Too, I just used it too much. But, yeah, um, unhealthily. My point is... Problem um, drinker. My point is, okay, what's 30... There's 15 beers, so if I spent... That's like three nights worth of beer, $30. So if I get more than three nights worth of a night of drinking um, out of this... Which like, you like already have, basically? If I haven't now, like I have... There's no time limit. Like, you have forever. <laughs> okay, well, you have until you die. Which... Or, or someone steals it or whatever. But like... Who would steal that piece of shit guitar? <laughs> it has honey on it. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, and But despite me telling myself this, I'm spending too much on music. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. Well, I mean... I'm... But like, the, 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 the thing is, like, part of it is, you know... The thing you can't do when you're drinking, which is, be you know, like, okay, well, I'll continue the pleasure of this night for a bit, and then I'll save the rest for another night. Yeah. You can easily do that with guitars. Or musical instruments in general. No, actually, with... Man, I must have told you about this, how, like, um... Sometimes... It's not like... Sometimes I'm in... I have insomnia. And as a side issue to that, um, I, I have this feeling within me that I can't allow myself to sleep until I've like made a 45 minute music video <laughs> because it's like the only thing that justifies my existence. You would justify your own existence. I know. I. I I was, I was thinking today, someone a long time ago sent me a comment saying like, wow, you must really hate yourself. And at first I thought like, oh, another troll, but then, he's, then I'm like, yeah, I think I, I, I think I, I, I think you do too, and I think it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Like you should, seriously, like, you don't need to sit around trying to think of like, like reasons for your own existence and whether you deserve to be alive or not, that's bullshit. <laughs> You are alive, you're you. And you're a pretty awesome you. And it's not like Hitler where it's like somebody just tried his existence because he was so fucking bad. Like, you are very good. So just like, hang around and you. Like, you're into music, so. Just, like, do stuff that makes you happy. You know, you've had enough bad times in your life, you know? And my mom says. I think I told you this also, that um, she, uh, I think, you know, she might be lying, she might be just saying this to make me feel better, that she, she said with her, the course of her mental illness, um, she went from being like, people thought of her as like psychotic or whatever, but you, I'll just speak about my, me, like, for like all my 20s, people thought of me as someone who is psychotic and like... Who's they might go off at any minute. Yeah, I mean, I, I had a lot, I, I do have a lot of friends and I have had a lot of friends who like accepted me for who I was and knew that I'm not violent. Yeah. Um, but like... Yeah, no, I understand that that is the... Do you know what sucks? One hundred percent of black men have to have to deal with this. Yes. Is that awful? Yes. Anyway, uh, sorry. Get, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh shit! Is it still on? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but um, the thing is, she said, what she predicts will happen with me is my mental illness will be viewed more as like an anxiety issue. Oh, you got that picture. I think it's an anxiety issue. Like, instead of me being a psychotic person, I'm like an anxious person. You are an anxious person. It, it is but, but, that's, but that's like, like how people will see me. 
Which would be great, because to anybody close to you, that is obvious that that is what it is. <laughs> like, you freak out, and when you freak out, your brain's kind of like... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go on vacation for a bit. You, you guys take care of the place while well, I'm gone. I'm terrified. <laughs> and then the other people are like, Oh god, we have to keep the horrible anxiety out. Let's do, let's, let's do anything we can think of. Yeah. I feel bad because I, I don't know. You are not. I, I think I think like expressing my expressing my fear or whatever on the internet is even though it pisses off people who are on the internet. I, I'm glad it comes out on the internet instead of like you know like something else like in a rec room or something, or... What, like, punching people or something? No, no, I'm just mean, like... Or are you just yelling at people? Like, I love the internet, and I love the internet so much that I know it's worthless. <laughs> you, know? you know what? I love you so much I know you're not worthless. Okay? <laughs> okay. But do you know what I mean? Like... Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like how I kind of secretly love TV. Yeah. I guess. Tonight, if you want. No, but I actually like TV where I can put it on and, and then fall asleep and it will continue putting on shows at random. Mm -hmm. And occasionally I'll wake up and be all like, oh, I hate this show. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be all like, oh, I better go back to sleep. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I've been working on that. Um, I can sometimes fall asleep when there's noise in the room. If A, I'm really into the. Like, I did that with a few music albums. And secondly, um, I'm like dead tired, exhausted. <laughs> By the way, um, Liz and I talked about, I think I told you this already, Lisa and I uh, talked about it and, and confirm that you guys have probably met once, if at all. Okay. So, I, I apologize to you. Because, like, most of the time I knew... Most of the time I have spent with Catherine was with Catherine and Liz. So I sort of assumed that because Catherine was there, therefore Liz was, like, obviously there. I just... I knew I would have a thing with names and faces. But... I may have met Liz and I may have had a very nice conversation that we both enjoyed, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'll remember her. I think that's, I don't think that's a weird thing with you. I think that's a well, maybe not, but I'm the same way. Yeah. No, 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 most people are the same way. Well, in the city at least. Yeah, because those people you see every day. In fact, I probably have a mechanism in my head when someone introduces me with their name, I naturally don't remember it. Like, it's, it's, I think it's like gone within like three minutes, unless they repeat it. Yeah. Yeah, my brain seems to have, okay, like, I'm not good with names in general, but my brain tends to hang on to like, its own rating system, so like, this is an important thing to remember. Which kind of sucks. No, but my problem is, I have not, I've met people and forgotten their names of a lot of imp people who were important to my life. Uh, yeah, no, me too, actually. I'd probably be better with names if I used them ever. Some people are very newsnamey, you know? Yeah, it's very complicated. Sometimes if I'm like chatting with someone, I'll use their name. Uh, um, and it's like 
the fact that I'm using their name acts grammatically as if I were using an exclamation point. I understand. Usually when I use somebody's name, it's, a, it's supposed to be a signal, but I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, right, Ben? Sure. That's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a punctuation mark almost. Yeah. Well, because they were talking in one of all with somebody, like, they know what their name is, and if you are going to use their name, clearly you know what they, their name is. And they know what their name is. Yeah. So it's like, a, like, it's not a necessary thing. Yeah. I do not need to shut up. In no, fact, it's good because it's making the video longer. I am uncomfortable with how much I make up. I saw. Okay. I can review the video with you if you want. I don't, I, you know I hate doing that. I'd rather you just posted it. Okay. No, I'm sad. No, don't be sad. I love you. I'm very tired and I'm going to take my pill and go to sleep soon. Oh. I don't know. You've never seen this guitar, right? I don't think so. Unless you went out and smashed mine up and got it <laughs> done again. No, but it's a mini one like mine, eh? No, it's... Well, it's the same size as mine, I think. I think it might be a bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's shorter than the one I have. See the strings how close they are to the fretboard up here? Yeah. And f oh! Oh, so it's like really hard to play high. Oh, it's warped as fuck, man. Yeah, they're just supposed to be like... And do you see these pegs? Yeah. And, and how that one isn't one? And how this one almost completely isn't there. Yet the string is still held in place. So I guess it'll never be changing the strings on this one. No, the the guys at the at Little Demon said that. He is at Little Demon. No, I got this at the antique store. Okay. Um, but they said this belongs in the trash, which makes me like it even more. <laughs> You're sad. You know what? It was probably very sad. And it was like, oh. And also, see, this is Horner. Yes. That's what my accordion is. But you got it at the same place. No, I got the accordion at this place at near Lindstown on Blur. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't keep where you get your musical instrument straight. Yeah, I think people are starting to suspect I might be a collector, but. I don't think I am a collector because... Well, you are a collector in the sense that you collect stuff. You're not a collector in the sense that you, like, snootily connect stuff. Well, stuff. I, I, don't connect, I don't buy things without the intention of playing them. Yeah. Which is why I think I'm not a collector. The word collect means, like, amass several of. Therefore, no. you were literally a collector. No, but like a, like a real collector would... Ha real collectors don't... I, I don't actually really understand real collectors. They're, they're just hoarders, really. <laughs> yeah, like, even when, when, when like, my, my grandma used to get me coins, um, like, commemorative coins, and I'd always, like, take them out and feel them, you know, like, look, all this bash shine. I go spend this now? <laughs> no, I, no, I never did. I, I put them back, okay. but, and then they got dull and stuff, but, like, grandma was all like, why, why, why did you, like, mess up your shiny coins, and I was like, because... Because what's the point of them if you're not going to, like, do stuff with them? What did you do with them? Hold them against the light. Like, they're super shiny instead of that. Okay. No, but, like, you're, you're ba like if you collect something, you're basically not supposed to touch it. Yeah. No, but I, I think maybe it's also some... It, it's hoarders, but it's also something that... That's how, like, stores get started. Like, you remember how many books used to be in my house? Yeah. If my parents had died during that time period, I could... You could have legitimately opened a bookstore. Yeah, uh, like a 